team of surgical specialists from the Georgetown Public Hospital, the Public Health Ministry and other health facilities in Region 2, 6 and 10 jointly conducted a two-day surgical outreach at the Mabaluma Regional Hospital. Many of those in the community and surrounding areas benefited from the exercise as it was the first to be executed in many years by a health team. Are you ready to embark on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America? where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape. From the wetlands and savannas to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and rich rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet. Including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So, are you ready for a new, awe inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. The Ministry of Public Health is going even further in its efforts to ensure residents in far-flung communities access specialized services. This time, persons in need of surgery in the Burima Waini region were afforded that opportunity. These operations took place at the Mabaruma Regional Hospital, where 27 cases were operated on over the two-day period. Acting Regional Health Officer Dr. Lachmi Lal gave the details. We are indeed very happy to have this surgical outreach. We've had it in the planning and today finally we can see that we're able to execute. We've had, we've extended this service to all our sub-districts. We had our patients come over, everyone prepped. We've had, we have all our staff and doctors on board. And of course, with the support of the Ministry of Public Health, we're able to realize this outreach to have to bring the services to our people. We've had a total of 27 cases thus far, and th those include cholelithiasis. We will be doing some hornier repairs to patients, um, and we'll also, we'll also be offering gynecological services, uh, uh, C-sections, elective C-sections, um, BTLs done for patients um, and biopsies. We're, apart from that, we're also offering ophthalmology services, VIA, VCT testing, and ultrasound. Patients were transported from all the sub-regions to access the free service in Mabaruma. Their travel and other expenses were covered by the region's health department. Many were eager to undergo their procedures. Several said that the outreach saved them the expense of having to travel elsewhere to get their surgeries done. Here are a few testimonials from persons who benefited from the exercise. Well, I'm glad because um, she had about two years trying for it. We had, because we slept in Venezuela, so we had the, the money, but then I got a chance with it. Plenty of problems. At one time, I, one of the testicle one side, the more big, right? And I never take it in like take it serious, but it's about, let me say half of this year now we begin to come down, come down. He said, well, we got to take a surgery and um, he had me from the clinic and I was very happy about it. It's something very good with the surgery. The doctor from there is so kind and he, he you know, the patient them go, then get sick, then go in there and he, they bring them out from so far. But um, it's something very good because, you know, checking for your health before you're there, ailing all the time there and get more sick. And sometimes some people die without checking medical, you know, at least it's something good. This is not the first time because see the see civil doctor before I put it. They check me and I show them and I tell them everything that things affect me from work. And it's pain me. When this thing pain, they're telling you, liver your pain. You. Terrible pain. This is a joke I tell you. I got to this. Is a third time before, and the right side they do it two times. One time go back and walk the street, but walk inside, and had to go back and do it in more than same pressure. Minister paid three thousand dollars. 
from me had the money and now this one here try to get it done. One mother, Lindy Austin, whose son was born with hydrocele, said she was happy that her two-year-old Mitchell Domingo has benefited from the free surgery and would not have been able to go through life with what she described as a challenge. Austin was also relieved that the surgery was done in Mabaruma, saving herself and Mitchell the hassle of having to travel to Georgetown to have the operation done. Eight obstetrics and gynecology cases, including two successful tubal ligations, one cesarean section and two cervical biopsies were done. Some of these services along with the others are not new to the region since they are performed regularly in the hospital's main operating theater which is well equipped to conduct surgeries at any given time. Dr. Serge Paul Singh, resident doctor in obstetrics and gynecology at the Georgetown Hospital, who was part of the operating team, spoke of the scope of the surgeries that had been undertaken. So we have a few uterine fibroids, around two to three. Um, we have a cervical, a cervical cancer. Um, we have some BTL, that's tubal ligation. Um, and we have some other patients. We have a CS that we're evaluating also to perform and a termination pregnancy. Usually after surgery, um, we review them the next day. Um, usually they will need like uh, two days observation in the ward. Once you're okay, once we think that they meet all the post-operative post requirements, we usually discharge them. And uh, these patients will be followed by the doctors here and in the regional, um, in the other outlining areas. While these surgical procedures were taking place, Minister of Public Health, Valdo Lawrence, paid a visit to the hospital where some of the patients were in recovery while others were awaiting their turn to have their surgery done. The minister was pleased to hear of good reports made by beneficiaries as they commended the initiative. So many of the patients have said to me that they're so grateful that they were given this opportunity because many of them have their families at their bedside. I don't know, they're very happy to be doing it in their own environment, let me say that. Um, but this is something that we will be doing across our hinterland regions, ensuring that we can take all of the services to our people. And in that way, we will be beginning um, that process of ensuring that we achieve our objective of universal health care. The minister expressed her satisfaction with the success of the outreach executed and noted that it is as a result of a collaborative effort to ensure that cases requiring special attention in this particular region are attended to in the shortest possible time. One week ago, we went across this region, myself and team, including the representative of PAHO WHO, and we were able to capture some of those persons who are in need of surgery. Um, today we have that team in Mavaruma from the Georgetown Public Hospital, um, led by the Director of Professional Services, Dr. Fawcett Jeffrey, along with the doctors here at Mavaruma Hospital. Um, the persons who are going to be treated come from across the region. According to the Public Health Minister, medical outreaches such as this one is one means by which the ministry ensures that all of Ghana can access the public health sector's services. Minister Lawrence also noted that having these surgeries performed in various regional hospitals provides necessary exposure for the doctors and the nurses working there. Where we're trying to do a few things. One is to maximize the use of our specialists and two is to ensure that all of our people have access. And when we talk about access, it's not only access to the health center, access to health workers, access to medications and so, but even access to the more detailed um, services such as surgeries. And we believe that when we bring our specialists out to these far-flung areas, that our doctors who are posted here will now have the opportunity to work with these specialists, work along with them, not only um, at the doctoral level, but also the nurses, the anesthesiologists, and so on, all of the, the whole team that is here to work, and so they can gain experience. We're also looking 
um, for partnerships or mentorships, so to speak. So as the specialists come out, they will be able to identify those doctors here that they will continue to work with. The Ministry of Public Health has taken note of the high costs incurred to transport a patient or patients for surgery to Georgetown. Therefore, another crucial long-term objective of these outreaches is to save the Ministry of Public Health much-needed funds that would normally be expended on emergency evacuation, which most often requires a chartering of an aircraft. Instead, the saved funds can be put towards improving the healthcare service delivery in far-flung communities, for example, the training of doctors stationed at these regional health facilities. This in turn will reduce the financial burden for patients and their families as they will no longer have to travel long distances to receive treatment. Speaking specifically to the surgical needs in Region 1, Director of Regional and Clinical Health Services at the Ministry, Dr. K. Sheko, noted that plans were ensued between the Health Ministry and the Regional Health Department to capture those in need of the surgery. What we did is to have a list because you no know, Region 1, like any other region, they have different sub-districts, you know, all the hinterland regions, they have sub-districts. And Region 1 has four sub-districts. So we just, um, we ask our doctors here to enlist patients that need surgeries. Because we don't want them to travel to Georgetown or for us to be doing medvacs all the time. And um, it's incurring a high cost at the Ministry of Public Health. Since the year has begun, the Ministry has intensified its health outreach efforts to various remote communities responding to the needs within these areas. This is in keeping with the mandate of the Ministry's Regional Health Service Department. Our mandate at the Regional Health Services is to ensure that health care is appropriate and adequate across all 10 regions. But listening to our scope, uh, you will understand that it's not easy, it can be challenging at times. That is why the Ministry of Public Health would have um, deliberated and said, okay, in order for us to meet our goals, well, then we have to do outreaches, especially in those areas that are remote. Other hinterland regions have been targeted for surgical and specialized outreaches. To date, communities in Region 6, 8 and 9 have benefited from these exercises. Further, there are plans to visit areas in need of these services while some new areas where medical outreaches were never conducted can expect to benefit soon. You've been watching InfoHub Extended where we highlighted a recent medical outreach conducted in the Region 1 community of Mabaruma. Thanks for watching. Do join us again. Goodbye. Are you ready to embark on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America? where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape. From the wetlands and savannas to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and enriching rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet. Including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So, are you ready for a new, awe inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. <laughs>